What's up guys, we are here with Joseph Gray once again topping his third Argent Saga Championship and he is playing once again Hoena Fizzy. Yes sir. So uh, let's get into the deck profile, we can talk about the tournament uh, after uh, we get to see these cards here. Work. If anyone wants to buy this Eaton, please <laughs> hit me up. Uh, so, three of the little guy, of course, gotta play it. Um, three Devourment, standard. Triple Avarice, obvious cards, uh, cards to beat aggro, because actually it was quite a, I played quite a few aggro matchups. Oh, you did? Yeah, like played two Liam decks, um, and then in top cut I played Helena Corona, which is Helena Corona? Yeah. Unfortunate that I got paired up with Tim, but it is what it is. Uh, one Indolence, uh, out to, yeah, 100%, just to out the Juggernaut in okay. the event that they play it on five, with yeah. tapped out, it's an excellent out. Um, the cards that let you beat Jillian if you see them. Yes. Yeah, that's when essentially. You see them. Yeah, that's essentially what they're here for. And I mean, the better you know the game, the better this card becomes. Yes. Like I, I don't agree. think I've blind called Evil Eye three times in this event, and I have yet to miss off of it. I, I actually agree with that. I I hit. I think I don't think I, I. The only time I ever missed an Evil Eye call was. When I was like turn five and my opponent had nothing in the discard and I called Yami and he had eight cards and he somehow didn't have a Yami. But like, wow. yeah, like, yeah, I see what you're, knowledge it, with the Evil Eye is key. It, it's I insane. A, I hit the double Kaze out of someone's hand. Oh like, yeah, it feels good too. And then they say you're lucky and then you're like, yeah. Uh, you you kind of can tell. Uh, three labs, which I actually saw uh, this weekend, it was nice. Um, three Yami, yes. obvious. Uh, this was like the removal package. Double Dust Strike. Yeah, and decided to play double Miasma instead of the Poisonous Strike this time. Um, just because I feel like that card is way better in the side. Yeah. And I want to be able to remove threats without my opponent attacking. Okay. And it's a two for one. And we love two for ones. Um, Soul Transfer. These are the one of Soul Transfer, Philo Stone, and one Returning Shadows. Philo Stone blew me out when we had to play it. Yeah, the it, this, this card's just. When, since I played Double Evil Eye, it makes this card even more insane. Yeah, you hit me twice with that. Yeah. In both yeah. games. You, that card... No, the play I did with you, I had to get exactly 2-5 mm -hmm. to take your last few cards out yeah. of your hand. But man, it, this this card's nuts. Uh, Soul Transfer, there's so many times that uh, I've just May You played Soul Transfer for free and then Shard Drained a card on top of their deck for a massive tempo swing. Yes. And Returning Shadows, you just... Grabs may you again. Yes. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, Argents. I did not play Statue. I just played these three. Oh, no, nah, I mean, Returning Shadows is enough recursion, and I'm usually ending the game before Statue becomes relevant. Yes. Uh, for Blue Package, same exact one. Uh, double ASB, double Mizu, double Jugs, Chrono, and card that's probably getting banned. Yes. That, that card is insane, dude. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It, it's, I think that Mayu is just becoming a problem. Um, we'll see with the new format being way more aggro-based, it might not be as big of an issue for a while. But when it hits the board, it's still going to be an issue. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, Ergon's just coming back, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll I, see. I don't think... Uh, we'll see how aggro-aggro uh, ends up being. Well, we were promised... Oh, yeah, we were promised. Th we were promised playing a full match, but... That's going to be a tough promise to fill, uh -huh. even with uh, Retro Wood Repo Boom. Shards, the same thing. The one Zephyr, and then three Cryptic and five Argent Shards, which okay. got me that good old game loss. Okay, so explain that real quick. So you huh? ended up getting a game oh, loss. Oh, yes. You uh, got a game loss in the in the round that you ended up losing. Yep. Just explain it really quick. So, essentially, I... And no, like, Colin probably was going to win game one anyway, yeah. to be fair. Bad matchup. But I sat my deck down on stream because in Top Cut you can't take your deck with you because they said, hey, we want you for a player interview. Leave my deck and the judge is like, okay, I'm just going to put it up in the box for you. He, I side the one Argent Shard still. Yes. And he took the Argent Shard and put it into my Shard deck. My opponent and I didn't realize until turn nine that I had an extra Shard there and at that point, it was yeah. At that point, like, I'm like, I was expecting the game loss. Like, what do you do? It's not really your yeah. fault. It's not like no one did it maliciously. It's yeah, just it was like, just an accident. Really? And accidents happen. You can't really get mad at anyone for it, you know. Uh -huh. But um, well, good sportsmanship on you for that one. Some people would probably get a bit mad about that. Uh, I mean, man, you, you just gotta life happens. Yeah. You know, uh, standard towers. Uh, 
best tokens, obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh! Girlfriend, and the sideboard. So I sided the three delayed poisons just because aggro or just going into games two and three, it's very good, yes. It's so good. Um, but I hate it in the main board because versus the control matchups, the card sucks. Yes. Uh, third Dust Strike, the Spice card. Um, this card just lets you go even more over the top in control mirrors. Okay. And versus the Hoenna Kite like matchup, once you get rid of the bird, uh, a lot of them are playing the returning shadows or the soul transfer or yeah. things to do that. You not only like banish that bird from them, you now can play the Sylphia if you want to. Yeah, which yeah, is just because insane. <laughs> no one respects Sylphia when they play against this. So. I feel like people don't really know much about this card. They just don't even think that like hmm. you could do that. Oh yeah, no, and it's then, a, like it's oh, a surprise. You board and then you just <laughs> yeah. Uh, versus Colin, I actually was able to banish his Mayu for that, but I mean, I lost due to deck out. So uh, another Soul Transfer. This is where the Poisoner Strikes are. Uh, sick card, just versus aggro because their hand size actually matters. More allurements for aggro, uh, third guard hound for aggro, brain white beam just for the mirror. Um, this is actually from Philip Pena. His uh, his oh like, my god, you did that to me. Yeah, right? no, I mean and his I logic for it was actually like it really sucked. good uh, because the mirror is about Rudy and it's a card that not only gets rid of their threat of Rudy, it also establishes the threat of Rudy. In one know? three drop card. In one yeah. three drop, and it just kills all their tempo. God, that sucked when you did that yeah. against me. That's horrible. <laughs> it, it's, it's a really solid one. Uh, I side this card literally just for those time matches. Um, yeah. Also, like, Jillian can't really out it. Uh, my one lovely Argent Shard, and I sided uh, the Black Tower just because some aggro matchups you don't really care about. Like seeing their hand, it's it, the fact that it's 2k uh, yeah. versus a Liam deck when they go 1k and then pump yeah, hit this guy. Nice neg one. They lose. The hot neg one. They, yeah. No, they, they, they're done. The yeah. game's over. <laughs> they're not coming back. But yeah, um, that's the deck. It's pretty standard. Uh, until next one. Uh. Is there uh, is there anything that uh, you would change from your deck? Oh uh, well, this format's pretty much done. I think that my Hoenna Fizzy list was correct for this yeah. event, especially with the matchups that I played. I respected aggro enough, but still was able to go over the top of controls. So you have, uh, what's your opinion going into set two? What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, you got a lot of the cards spoiled now? Yeah, I so I think we have we every card talking. spoiled, and just from what I'm seeing, uh, Ergon's still very, very real. Uh, it's not as oppressive since we have graveyard interaction, and you also have the threat of Repla Bloom existing. Yeah, actually aggro, like yes, aggro, like aggro in your aggro face. Aggro, you have to respect now, yeah. and you have to draw your cards that out aggro, or you're going to lose. Yeah. It doesn't matter how much control you're able to establish with your Ergon looping, whatever yeah. it is you want to loop. If you're just dead by turn three, yeah, because they just put five tokens out. So yeah. set two is going to be really interesting. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be in Orlando to play. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, no, no. I won't be able to. Won't be able to four peat. Uh, no, I'm going on a cruise that day. Okay. Well. But I'm interested to see that event. I yeah. will be watching the stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's going it to be chaotic. Going to be some chaos. Yeah, it's going to be some chaos for real. Oh yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much for the deck profile, and good good shit for three in a row. And yes, hopefully you can uh, get it going back in uh, Texas? Is that the next Oh, I'll event? be at Texas, Texas for sure. Texas, awesome. Vegas. And you won't have to drive 400 miles, right? Thank because... goodness. Texas is like our neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. All right, Justin. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Peace out.